So I love my mandazis. Golden brown, this, this brown, this brown, this one, this one, this one. So you just keep turning them until all of them are golden brown eh? and they're evenly, evenly cooked. Hello, I hope you have been doing well. It's another new week, another new recipe, only on Ordinary Kitchen by Mili Chebi. Today, guys, Ata Sitaki Story Mob. So far, thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. That's what I always do first. Immediately, I just come here. It will be so rude for me to just come and just feel like, hey, it is your right for you guys to watch me. No, thank you guys for watching and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Those who have not subscribed, please subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell a husband to tell a wife. Tell a wife to tell a husband. Tell a child, like uh, there's a, um, one of my neighbors, apparently the person who made her know about my YouTube channel is the baby, she's called Milan. The baby is called Milan, just like, almost like my baby. My baby is called Mila. So today, guys, I'm taking you through a recipe you have cried. So I went to Kinkaka's house, uh, to Nana's place. It's Kinkaka's house, right? But Nana is the wife. Well, there, that was way back when I was, I was, Mila was three weeks, I was, I had postpartum. Then Nana came to my house to see the baby and found that, oh my God, I was in a very bad situation. So for her, she's been a mother before. She told me the best thing we could do is uh, move, move places, like you just try a new environment. She carried me and my whole family to her house. So on my stay there, me and just loving the kitchen, just to keep myself busy, I taught her how to make mandazis. Nana has been doing those mandazis and mentioning me on Instagram. Guys, come back to me. Chebi, where are the mandazis? Those mandazis, the King Kaka calls them mandazis, mandazis and mandanyos and Nana. Today is the day I'm teaching you how to make the mandazis. I hope you are here to follow the recipe. It's quite a simple one. I hope you love it. I hope you'll try it. Otherwise, thank you for the love, guys. Direct unto the ingredients of today. So, we have warm milk two cups of warm milk. We have sugar, I'll tell you how many. I have these measuring cups, so I'll be measuring them in these measuring cups. And then I have the hack of them all, of them all. I use iliki, I always do two types of mandazis. I do the iliki mandazi. Iliki is cardamom, for those who don't know Swahili, it's cardamom. Or I always do uh, lemon, lemon uh, mandazis but i love iliki mandazis more it's what i've taught my, most of my friends and they just say it's mm, mm, brilliant and this is iliki then we have oil of course because we'll be deep frying the mandazis and then we have flour 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 depending flour depending on how far your village is from where the city no, from your nursery school. It depending with how far. No, depending with your nursery school teacher. For me, in Lidiambo, you need to a flower. My cameraman calls it flow. Huh? Flower. No, flower ni maua wewe. So let's do this. And to my first step, I will do this. Two cups. I'll do two cups of flour. Wait, I'll do four, two, three. Mimi ni mdu ordinary kitchen. The flour is uh, the mandazi one, the ready-made. Ile ukienda kwa shelves, unapate mandi kwa mandazi. But you can still do the, kama una iyo, you can still do the normal unga. And then you use the, the uh, baking powder. And then I will put the iliki. So for iliki, you put as much as, as much as you are doing the unga. I can actually feel the aroma of of uh, of this iliki. Half a cup of sugar. Eh? Depends up here how much you, you are sweet tooth. Depends how much you are sweet tooth for me. I don't like too much sugar, but mandazi should be sweet. I will put margarine. <laughs> That's too much. And I rub it. I rub again the stick. So 
I just rub it until I feel the all the ingredients I've put together are well mixed. Eh? Nice. Then I'll put in the first cup of milk. Oh, the milk should be warm. Eh? My, my milk is warm. I warmed it before I just measured. It should be warm milk. You need and squeeze if I remember my home sons very well. Good. Monga until it becomes firm. When you want to know that it's almost ready, eh? Inacha kushika the basin. Namkono pia inacha, let me show you. Oh, just so you know, I washed my hands before I started this. Before Mwanza kusema, oh. I wash my hands. I always do. See? See? Good. We are almost there. So for mandazis, it's always good to, to make the dough overnight. Like you make it at night. If you know you're doing mandazis for breakfast, you make it overnight. Just cover it. And when you wake up, you just deep fry them. I used to use the karatasi, the polythenes before. Easily are the small ones you have fridge. Ama whichever polythene you have. But as of now, because they were burnt in Kenya, I use foil. You can use the, the colorless one or the metallic one. So in this case, because I'm in a hurry, I will use the metallic one. This is it. I'll wait for one hour, then I'll just come show you the next step before we, we deep fry. Nothing much. That's how much fast it is to make mandazis for your family every morning if you can. If not, it's best for the weekends. Ama? Cool. So let's wait. Let's give it one hour. After one hour, to endele. So we are back one hour later with our mandazis. So before that, I'll be using the surface to uh, roll the dough. I need to clean the surface just to make sure I clean this And then, kama kawaida, you put dough on the surface to avoid the dough kushika surface. Let's see. Good. This is done. Put it away. So, I need a knife, so I'll cut into small, I'll divide it into small pieces. So, depending on how thick you want your mandazi. I'm not the best in rolling, by the way. I am not the best. As you're rolling your mandazi, you put, you hit your oil. Eh? You hit your oil because it has to be. You have to drop the mandazis in very very hot oil. So I like my mandazis deep fried, not shallow fried. Shallow fry in a jazanga mafuta kwa mandazi ndani or it doesn't puff. Now cut it into the shape of your choice. Shape of your choice. The others who like them round, you can just use a cup to press. You can use a cup to press. You can use a cup to press. There we go. The flour is just to avoid it. Kushikachini uh, pia usieke mo because when you dip into the into the the cooking oil, it dirtifies the oil. So inaza inaza kosa kutenga inaza mandazi mo. So I'll tell you one kitchen trick today. Something is just happening and I thought, oh, I should share. 
Hebu karibisha kwa kamera. Unasikia sauti ya Unasikia sauti ya nini? Ya mafuta. Wait. Good that one. So, ukisikia mafuta bado ikilia hivyo, okay, ikilia. Ikitoa sauti kai hiyo. Ikilia ikitoa sauti kai hiyo, it's still not yet hot. Once the the the, the oil is silent, I'll 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 also show you. I'll also, I'll also tell you once it's fully, it doesn't do shit. I love you. I love what I'm doing. To bubble, bubble. I think she's got it. I think she's got it. By George, she's got it. By George, she's got it. I got it right. Ikiacha kubabol, ime heat. It's ready for the mandazis. But right now you can feel the bubbles. You can hear the bubbles. So it's not yet ready. Yeah, totally. That's one of the kitchen tricks I was going to tell you. Meanwhile, guys, I'll be sharing more of kitchen tricks. Maybe once in a month, I'll just be doing a video of kitchen tricks. Pekeake. Like, shared several. I have so many of them. Na kapi yung muna jua zingine, muna nipe a trick. Nyo ile siku nita record ni ngare na ya. Ama na muna gani, my people? Finally, the last roll, eh? our oil should be done now, right? So, should be ready for us. Our oil is well heated. I will use this kitchen towel to put into my bowl just for it to absorb the mafuta. So, I will start my first. And that is just come show them. You dip it from side, ki slide in, dani, sour. Next. Be careful not to put too many. Ziaze kufinyani ya ukundani. So, I love my mandazis, golden brown, this, this brown, this brown, this one, this one, this one. So you just keep turning them until all of them are golden brown eh? and they're evenly, evenly cooked. Sour. So the problem with these ones, nafuranga ivi, they don't even have one side, but you see when it's one like this, you just know inside is well done, eh? It's well done. So, first. See how golden it is? I love. Good. So, just keep checking the, the heat, eh? Because once you put the mandazis in, in a, in a reduce the heat kwa mafuta. So, these ones are ready. I'll put the next bunch. See how golden they are. And finally, the last drop of Mandanyo. So the mandazis are ready. You, as you can see them, how do they look? Drop a comment if you feel like you salivating or you want hot tea. Ya kutaremisha ka chocolate TV. Thank you so much guys for watching my YouTube channel and subscribing to my channel. I love you so much. Like genuinely love you. See you love you. Wongo. Na wapenda for true. For true. Like... I'm so favored by your following and God bless you guys so much. On that note, I'm just retaking you back to uh, the ingredients. I used three cups of flour, that's ungangano, um, the one that is written mandazi, the one ready for baking mandazi. I don't need to mix and add the baking powder. I always make, I always find it easier because sometimes you can even forget to put baking powder. So I used three cups of it. I used two cups of milk. 
the the tea tea cup the tea cup when you muliona and then i put iliki iliki is cardamom cardamom you can buy it anywhere you can buy it when it's not crushed or the easiest because we are ordinary kitchen just go to the shelf here yeah, spices you will find iliki it's written iliki actually or it's written cardamom in big but ukiongelea vizuri maandiko iliki for those who don't know swahili it's cardamom i repeat and then i use margarine i used a big a big a scoop of margarine two big big scoops of margarine and then i rubbed what have i for sugar i used half half cup of sugar half cup of sugar otherwise that's all then you just knead them together the way i did it i know you followed and trust you me you'll have the best mandazis i'm waiting for your photos on my instagram and my youtube you can also just say if you did it how much you like it how does it taste otherwise guys it's been such an amazing time with you i love you so much thanks subscribe to my youtube channel press the notification bell and you'll always get my uh, immediately i upload my videos you'll be the first ones to watch otherwise acha mwa missing yana wapenda sana in college i love you so much guys and god bless you for true god bless you peace out